because the kingdom is at hand. That means no matter how you were believing and what you didn't like and all of those things, but prior to that and what wasn't working, have a change of mind. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Because the arrival of the kingdom is here now. be seated. Praise God. I just want to share a brief testimony to the glory and the honor of the Lord Jesus Christ as the word was coming forth in Suffolk this morning. Oh, something miraculous happened to me. And uh, we were, uh, the apostle was coming out of uh, Matthew and he was telling about Jesus how he went in the synagogue and he, he was teaching. And he was teaching the people about the kingdom of God and the rule of God. And he was telling them that the kingdom, uh, he was announcing the kingdom and it was in that kingdom he was bringing healing of all sickness and disease. Hallelujah. All manner of uh, infirmities and the time and the season that he was bringing that was a time when the people were in gross darkness you know and so the, the light of the kingdom of God was being taught by Jesus Christ and what was so amazing as he was teaching out of the scriptures I could see I could envision where how Jesus was uh, revealing the kingdom and in the process of that the Lord healed my knee hallelujah glory hallelujah he took the pain out of my knee hallelujah and, I, and as the word was going forth I was believing I was seeing Jesus and I was believing what that word was saying. And as I was believing that word, hallelujah, I couldn't wait for the apostle to start preaching so I could tell what had happened to me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And not only that, the word say he, ta he, he talked about uh, Jesus in Hebrews uh, 13 8 where Jesus said he was the same yesterday today and forever and you know I grab, my spirit grabs hold of that and, and I said oh yes I said Lord I said the not only uh, heal me from uh, my knee I thank him for the healing of my knee but I lay hold and I claim the healing of the mind Hallelujah. You know, sometimes the enemy attack your mind and you can't form your thoughts right. And, 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 and so you feel a certain way. You don't want to talk certain, uh, a certain kind of way. But I tell you, I claimed it. And not only that, the Lord let me know that he healed me from condemnation, which I didn't know I had. Huh? We walk around with condemnation and, you know, we, we profess to, we feel like we're not condemned, but we have guilt. We feel less than, feel like when God was blessing, we don't, we don't qualify or, you know, we don't measure up. But the beautiful thing about it is Jesus bore all 
our sins. We're not condemned. Hallelujah. And the apostle was talking about, I don't mean to be. The apostle was, <laughs> he was talking about um, Jesus. So he talked about the first Adam born all our sins. But the second Adam, we, through the second Adam, which is Jesus Christ, we became righteous. Not on the basis of what we can do to be righteous, but what he is. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus is our righteousness. We don't have to work to be righteous anymore. You know what I mean? We don't have to work to be good enough. We qualify. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he was explaining just as the first Adam sinned, and we didn't have anything to do with that, but we inherit the sin nature. Well, the same thing. When we believe God, we inherit a righteous nature. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he don't take it back. Did you get that? He don't take it back. Hallelujah. Because the words say he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he's not going to become unrighteous. Amen. So if we believe on him, we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. No more condemnation. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I greet you in the name of the Lord. And I pray that you, when the word of God come forth, you know, sometimes this would uh, impress me as I was hearing it. Some, so many times we come into the house of the Lord and we hear the word of God and we even finish the, the scripture out before the pastor does, you know. But you know what? We're not really listening. Uh, we're just quoting. But it hasn't gotten in our heart. But when we hear the word with our spirit, that's when the miracles take place. That's when the power to heal us take place. Hallelujah. When it gets in our heart. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I, I hope this set you up. That when you hear the word of God, I don't care what kind of condition you're in, what kind of mental state you're in, I don't care uh, what kind of physical condition your body's in, and the doctor say he uh, uh, pronounced a certain condition, I want to tell you, if you listen to the word of God and believe... If you believe, yeah. I don't care if you heard it a thousand times. Yeah. Yeah. It's the word of God is the same yesterday, today, and ever. Yeah. It don't change, and it never will lose its power. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. So if we just believe that word, young people, I want to tell, I'm going to challenge you today. Don't come in the house of the Lord. And just come. I'm challenging you to believe the gospel. I challenge you today to take Jesus Christ as his word as it comes forth. And if you open up your spirit and your heart, it's nothing that God won't do for you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus is not boring. You boring. Oh, Lord, deliver me. Help me. Deliver me. Hallelujah. I've been free, y'all. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's power in the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And that word don't just stay. And you come in the house of God and you hear the word and you feel good. But once you get out of that door, you, something else happened to you. There's a transformation that takes place. It ought not be. We are his witnesses, and we're the righteousness of God. We're the light of the world. Hallelujah. We, we hear Jesus the light of the world, but we're his sons and daughters. We are the light of the world. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we need to do something about it. We need to shine and we need to tell who Jesus is. We need to remind people that the Savior has come. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we need to get free. We get free when we tell about Jesus. We see the power of God when we tell people that don't know anything about God. We see the power displayed when we pronounce who he is. But if we're just pronouncing it to each other, we ain't going to see a whole lot of power. We're not going to see a whole lot of miracles. Hallelujah. But once we confess and, and proclaim Jesus Christ, something powerful and miraculous happened, not only to them, but to us. You know, so we need to tell the good news. Hallelujah. And we need to stop acting like the good news we hear is dull news. Hallelujah. Amen. I tell you, we have an extreme God. Hallelujah. But if we are on extreme, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If only you, whatever you perceive in the house of God, what you perceive is what you are. Now, if you perceive yourself being light, if you perceive yourself with power, if you perceive yourself healed, well, that's what you're going to proclaim. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm healed. I am healed. Amen. I am free. Amen. I am not under condemnation. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The life I live now, I live unto the Son of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I think I told y'all that in 2020, I was going to have victory. Amen. 2020 is here and I have victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Victory over wrong attitudes. Oh, honey, come take this mic. Take this mic. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to get in trouble. Hallelujah. But I don't mind. I'm free, y'all. I am free. I am free. No more condemnation. Hallelujah. Nothing is impossible with God and me. Hallelujah. I'm not afraid of the devil. Hallelujah. He had his day, now it's my time. It's my time. Hey! Glory! Hallelujah! I'm going to enjoy myself. The latter years of my life, I'm going to enjoy Jesus. I'm going to have me a good time. Hallelujah! I'm going to prove God. Hallelujah. You got to step out in the deep. Hallelujah. I, hope, I wish my husband would come get this mic. I want, him, I want y'all to hear the word. I want you to hear the word with your spirit. Hallelujah. Awake, shake your head and say, no more sleeping. I want the word of life to come to me today. Hallelujah. And whatever the word say I can do, whatever the word say I can have, I'm, y'all, I got a, 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 a breakfast portion. I'm ready for my dinner portion. Hallelujah. All right. Let's see. We just uh, you, this is a passage of scripture we've read several times in the past, but we can read it again, beginning at verse four, twenty-three, chapter four. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. 
And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers diseases and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. And together, and, and there followed, followed him, him great, great multitudes, multitudes of people from, from Galilee, and, and from, from Decapolis, Decapolis, and, and from, from Jerusalem, Jerusalem, and from Judea, and, and from, from beyond Jordan. Jordan. Praise the Lord. Now, if you will just place your Bible down and join hands with someone, and we want to pray that um, the power of the Lord Jesus will have no hindrance as the word comes forth. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for 2020. This is a new year, a new time. And Father, we thank you for the body of Christ. We ask now, Lord God, that by your Holy Spirit, Lord God, that you will let the atmosphere remain conducive for the word of Christ. And we take authority over this atmosphere and we bind back every contrary spirit that would interfere with the word of God. And we render him powerless by the authority authority of Jesus name I break your power I destroy your dominion now in the name of Jesus and I command you to cease and desist in the name of Jesus and father we ask that your presence be loose now to work every kind of miracle Lord that you want to work today in the strong name of of Jesus Christ uh, and we give you praise and come on y'all let's give God praise hallelujah hallelujah glory to God hallelujah glory hallelujah glory to God hallelujah ah yes Lord hallelujah glory to God hallelujah Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. I feel the electricity in the atmosphere here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Glory, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, I thank you, Pastor Wanda, for what you share. And we don't want our ears to become dull of hearing. But God sensitize our ears so that when we hear what the Spirit is saying, that we can connect with Him, right? Hallelujah, and we can receive what God wants. And God wanted me to talk a bit, a bit about healing the sick. And so I heard this word, this song as I came in, uh, whose report will you believe? And I said, that's, 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 that's on target. That's on target. Glory to God. We'll believe the report of the Lord. In Matthew's gospel here, we find in verse 23, and Jesus went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. He taught in the synagogue, which was the then known church, right? It's like Jesus comes to church now and he begins to teach and preach, proclaim and demonstrate the power of the kingdom of God. And I, we shared with the body this morning, Hebrews 13, 8 
says. Somebody find it and read it right loud. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. God said in another scripture, I am the Lord and I change not. So that means each and every one of us have an opportunity now to believe that what Jesus did in the midst of his people 2,000 years ago will do the same according to the needs, right? So if you have a need, if you are suffering pain today, you can expect healing from God. God wants to take away the pain. Hallelujah. So you can experience what Wanda experienced. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now look, uh, I went back a little closer, further in verse 12 in chapter 4. Now when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the seacoast in the borders of Zebulun and Naphtali. Zebulun and Naphtali were two sons of Jacob. And out of them came tribes, right? That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah or Isaiah, the prophet saying, that's Isaiah 9, 1 and 2, the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, take note of this, the people which sat in darkness saw great light. And to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. Light came. And those regions there and in Palestine and these areas where uh, they, the, the medicine was not modern as it is today. And uh, there is a lot of help that we can get from physicians today. And, uh, but the people were different and the economic conditions were different and so people uh, suffered a lot of diseases you know and uh, pain and they uh, prior to Jesus coming people were in a lot of pain demons were torturing and 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 and, and tormenting people's lives and uh, families were, were were suffering and you know, they were <clears throat> under Greek rule and then under Roman rule. And so uh, they didn't have the freedom that uh, uh, you and I are enjoying now. But the, and so Jesus, uh, times were just right for Jesus to come on the scene. And they were deplorable condition. And so there was a lot of darkness. And Isaiah talked about on the seacoast uh, Naphtali and Zebulun, there was, there was the people, they sat in darkness or ignorance and sin. And, but he said that they saw a great light. Jesus is light. Thank God he gives you and I an opportunity to be light. Yes, you hear people talking about how bad the conditions are in our world. But you don't hear too many people talking about the opportunities that we have to shine as lights in the world. God wants us to take full advantage of the opportunities that are before us today. God said, and you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, and were in times past you walked according to the course of this world. Hallelujah. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together, and raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We have 
Look at somebody say, we have a responsibility. So, then verse 16 says, verse 17, for from that time Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Somebody say kingdom. kingdom. Now this is saying a lot to in the midst of a Roman rule to begin to announce arrival of a kingdom. And yet he began to announce it and says have a change of mind. Look at somebody say have a change of mind. Because the kingdom is at hand. That means no matter how you were believing and what you didn't like and all of those things, but prior to that and what wasn't working, have a change of mind. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Because the arrival of the kingdom is for us here now. And when I think of kingdom, uh, uh, there are certain uh, concepts that go along with kingdom. Uh, dominion and Power, rule, and authority. Isn't that right? Yeah. No, the same way here with the kingdom of God. So he announced the arrival of this kingdom and he was uh, making it clear that the rule of God is at hand. No matter what took place uh, prior to his coming, he was saying to them, this is the most important matter at hand right now, the kingdom of God. So as he began to announce the kingdom, so as you know, as we see and understand that the same concepts about the kingdom, he was pretty much saying God's rule, it's time for God's kingdom to rule in the earth here, in our lives. And, and so as he began to announce this good news, let's listen to what he said. Now the Bible says, verse 23, and Jesus went about after he chose the, uh, certain ones to be his followers, disciples, went about Galilee teaching in their synagogues. Teaching, that's the first thing, right? Wherever he went, the first thing he did was to teach. teach to teach means to impart information or skill so that others may learn, right? There's terms that are synonymous with teaching, train, educate, disciple, right? 